My name is Obed Yaboa from Shapeways.io. We're a tech hub based in Tutin inside the Trident Business Center, and we offer digital skills training to young and mature people. So I'm from Ghana. Um, to be more specific, I was born in Ghana. I came to this country when I was eight years old. And there's a few stories in that, but we'll leave it there. So the impact I'm making on my community is to support young people who find it very difficult to engage in a formal classroom. So young people with behavior issues, um, attention issues, or anything in that correlation, we then bring them into our space, which is shapeways.io, and provide them a space where it kind of feels like a living room and, a, and an office put together. And I guess giving them access to teachers that kind of speaks and look, and also, I guess, have the same interest ask them to quick, to build quick report to allow them to kind of engage in a way that it isn't so much as a teacher student um, relationship but it's more of a friend that's trying to help you so there's a lot of things to love about black culture and for me because being born in Ghana it's almost the culture is, has been cemented in me and a lot of the times for me when I listen to especially African music that it just comes with this unique feeling that I, it's very hard to explain, but I think the best way I can put it is, it makes you feel like it's Friday on a Monday. And being a bedroom DJ, which is simply a DJ that isn't commercial, um, I love to mix African music. If you book me for your events, I only do Afrobeats. And that's just simply because I like to have fun too when I'm mixing. So the black culture, especially when you go to parties, the, the, the dresses um, coming from the Nigerian kind of, um, angle everything is exaggerated everything is in your face the colors the food the personalities it's amazing i mean what is there not to love honestly speaking i think black history month should be celebrated every single day and the reason why i say this is more so because when it comes to entrepreneurship when it comes to setting up something for yourself when it comes to i guess taking ownership and being the source of motivation for your own progress, it's a lot harder to see people that look like you in that kind of sector. And I remember when I started in back in 2013 and going to networking event and not seeing anyone like me, it almost feels quite overwhelming, but then you're thinking, maybe there's a glass ceiling or maybe I shouldn't be here. Maybe this is it for me. And this was also highlighted to me when um, a young person came into Shapeways and asked, so who's this for? And I said, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, for, it's for me? And I was quite hesitant to even say that because in my mind, I wasn't fully comfortable with saying I own this. And when I told them, they were equally kind of surprised or hesitant to actually taking that information because they're looking at it like, well, you're black, you look like me, and you own this. You don't do music. You're not an athlete. So there's actually a space for me to actually do something like this and have ownership and be in a position of leadership. And I think for us, it's about bringing those that are in leadership roles at the forefront of especially young people in education or even not in education. and. It's, it's also about us promoting education not being the only route to success. I think a lot of the times, especially black parents or black people, when they're not doing so well in, in education, the natural kind of state of their thinking is simply, maybe I might just have to settle because of the color of my skin, I have to work twice as hard. And if I'm not doing extremely well in school, then I have no chance. And for me, I always try to challenge that conventional way of thinking because that's not exactly true. Because on paper, I don't even think I should be here. I should be probably in Ghana or in jail. So you can kind of see that sometimes when you're not doing so well in school, especially, and when you have parents that education is almost the passport for them to, to feel like you're going to be successful, it, it's hard to see, it's, it's hard to see the light um, at the end of the tunnel when you don't have any role models to actually educate you about 
if you're not good at education, if you're not good at maths, English, science, there are some kind of alternative route for you. And at Shapeways, this is where, where I personally feel we can provide young people, especially coloured young people, to see that there, there is a whole industry out there that isn't so f solely focused on education, but more so about your skills, your portfolio, what have you done? And that's where I, I think the digital route or the online space kind of sits. When we meet a young person, we try to let them see that there's more to life and education isn't necessarily your passport, but your attitude, your interpersonal skills, and just your general outlook on life is your passport. If you're a black young person watching this, please don't do what I did. I remember when I went to networking events and the color of my skin was almost the thing that was inhibiting me from actually being myself. I would naturally ask myself, is being black the thing that I guess is stopping me from actually getting from A to B? And I started to change the way I speak. I started to act a lot different. I started to think that maybe if I fit the description more, maybe I'll be accepted and people will take me serious. And when I started going on to this journey, I realized that the more I went, I started losing myself. And I would naturally see other black, black people and think, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be around them. But then the day that I started embracing the fact that I'm black, English is not my first language, so I can't necessarily string the perfect sentence together. I started getting a bit more attention from people. And I think the color of your skin, please do not see it as something that could, should inhibit you or should make you feel like you need to work extremely harder. Or when you go to interviews or when you go to meetings, don't feel like you have to oversell yourself because of the color of your skin or maybe the way you speak. I think it's more about just understanding that that's your superpower. That's what makes people stop and take a second look. And that second look is that attention. And once you have that attention, you can do whatever you want to do with it. You can meet someone that could genuinely look at you as a black person and feel like, oh, what does he have to say? But then don't focus on what he's thinking. Focus on the fact that his eyes is on you because he's waiting for you to say something. And what comes out your mouth is essentially what makes them change their perspective or what makes them feel like, yeah, he's just another black person. And I think it's, it's, it's important to understand that, yes, you're black. Yes, you might be quite cultured or not cultured. But how you see yourself is essentially how people would see you. I am Obed Yaboa. I'm proud to be from shapeways.io. And this is my Black History Monte. Thank you.